Hello everybody, this is Peter GS in here, and um, today I'm going to be doing a really quick video um, showing you guys a couple tricks that I have found out about. Um, and these tricks, guys, are not like how to take a snapshot or like you know any of those tricks that everybody keeps telling you. These are tricks that I believe most of you people probably never knew about. I believe that is it. Um, so, I'm going to be showing you guys four tricks. So, let's go ahead and get into these tricks. Now, the first trick, um, if you remember, if you remember a little while back, not too long ago, um, Unique Apps posted up a video showing a um, a trick with the uh, iPhone dialer, showing you guys how to actually like you know get back to your um your talk page, I guess you could say, from anywhere that he showed you a little green bar on there. Um, now this is, I'm going to go ahead and say, this is the most obvious trick I'm going to be telling you guys, okay? I'm just going to go and clear that up. So, some of you guys might know about this one, but stay tuned, you might not know about any of the other ones. So anyway, um, here's how it works. Um... Well, that also actually, that little trick you cho showed you with the iPhone actually works in a few other applications included with the iPhone as well, an iPod Touch. And one of these is Nike Plus iPod. You see that right there? So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to, whoa, going to go ahead and set up just a basic and none. And I'm going to walk around to activate the sensor because I actually do have one of these. If it's in my shoe, that is. Um, I don't think I've, it should be in my shoe. Hello. All right, let's try it one more time. Can't march up and down. There it goes. Now, if we start a workout, and you know I'm walking, let's say that I get distracted, and we're gonna uh, just assume that you have an iPhone here. Let's just say that I get distracted by an email or a call or something while I'm working out or running, and I want to check it. So well, all I have to do is just hit the home button. And I can do that. And you'll notice that bar right there. So it doesn't only work in the um, phone application on the iPhone. It also works with that one. And then I can go in and do my thing. And I'm actually going to pull that. Well, no, 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 that's status update notes. So it doesn't matter where I am. I've got to do is just click it. And it'll bring that up. <clears throat> now, it's not the only other one that it works in. Let me go ahead and delete this because I'm actually not working out. It's not the only one it works in. It also, it also works um, with voice memos. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my earphones here. I purchased these separately, by the way. I did not get the new iPod Touch yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about here. So uh, we've got voice memos up and running. I hit start cord. It starts recording. You see that bar right there? That bar will stay there even if we close out the application. And then what we can do is we can go and do whatever the heck we want to do. Like, you know, we could play Mega Man. It, it really does not matter what you want to do. Uh, you can do whatever the flip you want. So, yeah. And it doesn't matter where you are. You did notice that when I did turn on that application, it kind of went away. That's okay. So if I'm, you know, just casually checking my stocks while I'm recording, um, I do not have internet turned on, that's why that is, uh, all I can do is just click on that, and it'll actually bring it back, and I just gotta stop, and uh, I, I would, whoops, I would like to show you guys, uh, See that yeah, and it that recorded the whole thing, um, here, listen. Yeah, you remember me saying that. So, that is that. So that is the most obvious trick that I'm going to be showing you guys in here. All the other ones are not all that obvious. Why is this so out of focus? Let me see if I can refocus it. That is it. Much better. Okay, this next one you probably don't know. And I'm not going to be able to ex uh, explain it to you as I did clean out my iPod Touch's home screens. But... You can have a whole lot more than, you know, 11 screen, 11 application screens. Because if you actually download it after you've filled up all your home screens, 
it'll actually save it into the uh, memory, but it just won't show it on the home screens. But you can still access it with the spotlight search. All you got to do is search that application, and it'll bring it up for you. If you don't believe me, um, that when next time you fill up your iPod Touch or iPhone, give it a try. You will need 3.0 software update for that, obviously, because you are need to use Spotlight, and um, that's the way that works. Now, this next trick I'm going to show you guys, you probably didn't know as well. Uh, unfortunately, um, I did already post this before uh, they did, but this application right here, Tips Light, kind of explained it already. But I did have a video up explaining this before uh, that happened. But that video, it's kind of, you know, not exactly obvious in that video, so I'm just going to show it to you anyway. It is a calculator trick, and, um, there's two things I'm going to show you. First of all, you can actually, um, so let's say, you know, you're, like, you want to, you want to jot down this, um, this answer here in a, in, a, in a note. Well, what you can do is just hold down the thing, and it'll actually turn blue, and you can copy it, or you can paste it, just like in the iPhone dialer. So that's pretty nice. So you can copy and paste with it. That's something you probably didn't know, but you probably most some of you probably did not know, but some of you probably did know. Now this is one I serious none of you guys have probably heard unless if you did recently update your uh, tricks book thing. But if you um let's say that you know I'm typing a bunch of fives and accidentally I'm typing a bunch of fives and accidentally type the four button while typing fives. How do I get rid of that four without clearing the whole screen? Well, what I can do is swipe. You see, uh, if I just swipe my finger along the screen, it actually acts as a backspace. You see what I'm doing? You just swipe across. You do not want to do it slowly, because slowly doesn't work. It has to be a quick swipe. So just a quick little swipe, and it'll actually backspace for you. This does not work in the iPhone dialer. I tried it um, on another iPhone. It does not work, so... Yeah, doesn't work. Okay, so that's that one. Some of you guys want to know it. This is probably one that, unless if you're very adven uh, uh, really adventurous like me, you probably do not know. It has to do with the contact, so let me pull it away from the camera here, and um, I will actually set up a quick, a quick, 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 quick contact here. I'll just name him that. Alright, so um, we... Uh, I just made a quick little contact here, completely pointless one. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the PAZZSCN contact card here. This is a, just a bunch of stuff that I do not mind you guys knowing. Um, this right here is the PAZZSCN contact card. Look at the picture. Do you see the picture? This is something, <laughs> this is absolutely just completely not obvious. But you can actually put your finger on the picture, hold it down, copy and paste. If you hit copy, alright, I copied it, I'm going to bring it over here, and you noticed how it said paste when I had it set to copy. Check this out. Paste. Boom. If you did, if you, any of you already knew that, I'm proud of you. I absolutely just found that out on it complete accident. Let me go back to my PAZZSEN contact card here so I can show you that you can also copy the name. You cannot paste it into another contact. I don't think you can paste any of these into another contact unless you use the, the little edit screen here. But um, you can copy the email by holding it down. You can also copy... I'm trying not to accidentally click anything. You can also copy the, uh, the name. You see how it turns blue? You can copy all of this stuff. But you can also copy the picture and paste it into another um, into another contact, which is absolutely just completely not obvious. So, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching, and adios.